Hey guys, welcome to my very first video with Going Awesome Places. I've been wanting to do this for a while, so to have this come true is pretty exciting. With my very first video, I wanted to talk about two things. One, the Eagle Creek Packet Spectre Cube System. And this is something that I use this summer, and I think that you guys will benefit from learning about, you know, whether I recommend this or not. And two, something to do with packing as well is, you know, how do you roll your clothes? So I have t-shirts, uh, my long sleeve uh, fleece sweater, and as well as my khaki pants. So how do we pack all these items efficiently and uh, as small as possible? So this is the Eagle Creek Packet Specter Cube System. Um, and I, I found this pretty randomly. I was at Europe Bound looking for equipment for my trip and uh, I saw this on a rack. It could have been more than $15. And I thought this is brilliant because I'd been using a mesh stuff sack from MEC for a long time and I thought this was really good for organization that I could sort of just throw it down in my backpack and pull it back out when I needed to. And uh, so let me go through this system and explain to you why I found it really useful and I think that uh, you'll like it as well. Now first of all you'll see that you know there's a handle at the top you know when you put in your backpack I, I laid it flat against the back of my backpack and so when I wanted to get my shirts up all I had to do was yank it out. Um, it has a zipper that goes around the backpack. It, it only starts from up here on the left side and when I open it, it goes all the way almost to the bottom on the other side. And that allows you to pull open the flap and so the whole flap doesn't flap around like crazy when you, you have it fully opened. And in here I have one, two, three, four, five, six t-shirts stacked on top of each other um, and that was perfect for my trip. I needed six t-shirts. Sometimes I would try to stuff in seven and that was okay. And each one of these shirts is rolled. Now, that worked out beautifully and, and the material itself is, is very great. Um, it's it's uh, super thin. Um, it's, I would say, water resistant so that if I put water on this material, it would just sort of roll off. And so this would become really handy if you know if you get into an extreme situation where there's rain, and uh, you know water leaks into the pack, then your shirts won't immediately get wet because this will repel a lot of the water that comes through. Um, so really good for that, um, and overall just really efficient um, at organizing your backpack. And before I even use packs, um, my bag was a mess because you just sort of throw t-shirts down there, even if they're rolled, um, you couldn't differentiate between where were your pants, where were your shirts, where were your undergarments, um, where were your equipment. So with these organized uh, packing cubes, uh, these are called, um, made it super simple. Um, I knew exactly where my t-shirt was, so when I reached down to my backpack to pull out equipment um, or shirts, I would know exactly what to, to pull for. And with this one, really flat, again, lays against the backpack, and I was able to pull it out right away. Um, loved it. I think you will too. So definitely consider the Eagle Creek Packet Spectre Cube System. So we have a t-shirt here that we want to roll. And so the very first step when you're rolling a t-shirt is you take your t-shirt and you fold it in half. And whether you do it inwards or outwards, it doesn't really matter. Now that you have your t-shirt folded in half, you take the sleeve part, fold it in, okay? And so you pretty much have a rectangle right now, and all you do from this point is roll. And this is a pretty simple process, especially once you've done it a few times and you just kind of go at it. And in a matter of seconds, you have now your rolled t-shirt, and it's as simple as that. Um, this is a great way to pack your t-shirts into something like a backpack or even a suitcase. It's definitely much more uh, space efficient than, let's say, stacking t-shirts on top of each other. So, um, in essence, that's how it works and that's how you roll a t-shirt. Next up we have pants. And now pants are, are definitely more tricky than, um, say, t-shirts that you just saw was really easy. And the problem with pants is that, obviously, with khakis, sometimes they're pretty thick, they take up a lot of space. Um, so by rolling, you're still saving space, but you'll find that pants probably take up the most space in your backpack, especially if they're long pants. So with how to roll pants, really simple. All we do is, again, fold 
those pants in half. It's almost like doing your laundry. And from there, you fold it in half one more time. Okay, so we get something like this. And from there, just like what you do with your t-shirt, you just start rolling, start rolling. And there you go. Here is your rolled khaki pants. Now lastly, I want to show you how to fold any sort of long sleeve shirt. And this works for my fleece sweater here. Uh, it could be a jacket. Um, it could be any old long sleeve shirt. Um, and so out of all the techniques, this is probably the most difficult, but by no means is it challenging. Uh, so I'll show you how it's done. Uh, the first step with any sort of long sleeve is that you want to fold your sleeves inwards like this. Okay, so once you have the, sh the sleeves folded in, the next step is to then fold everything in half. Okay, so now you have a package like this in half, and then just like the t-shirt, just like your pants, what you want to do is then start rolling. And there you go. Now you have a folded fleece sweater, t-shirt, or jacket. I hope you learned a lot from this video. It was definitely a lot of fun making my first video. Um, stay tuned for upcoming videos that I'll have out in a couple weeks. Uh, but for everyone else, um, thanks for tuning in and see you next time at Going Awesome Places.